guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Runa. So today is going to be an exciting day. Let's cut to the chase, y'all. It's gonna be an exciting day. I am going to review First Impressions Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills. Y'all gotta see it. It's so beautiful. Close up. Ah! Don't scratch it. Close up. Look at how beautiful that is. So, as you guys know, I'm not really a huge neutral girl. I'm not a big all the time wear neutral colors. If I do eyeshadow, I tend to like to wear very colorful looks. That's just my style. I'm bold, I'm colorful. Neutrals are not really my thing. I will only go to neutrals if I'm going to be in a situation where it's like, my outfit needs to be more important than my face but most days I'd rather have my eyeshadow be more important than my face <laughs> than my outfit so yeah so this was a very odd purchase for me but since I own all of Anastasia's palettes I was like I can't just skip out on this palette and so since I got it I was like purchased with my own money I thought I should do a First impressions, what do I think review on this? And as you guys know, I always dislike their packaging. And the reason why I don't like the packaging is because it's velvet and this is going to get so dirty. I don't have my Modern Renaissance out right now, but it's somewhere in my eyeshadow palette collection. And it's filthy. I'm like, my palettes get filthy because I'm just not a super like, you know, like I just, I get stuff everywhere. So that's just who I am as a person. Um, look at the prices anymore because I just enjoy her as a brand but last two times the reason why I'm looking at the price right now is because the last two times I did get palettes with her I was upset because they were not good you guys so this is $42 I don't know if you guys could see that right there it's $42 and it's got really high reviews like five it's oh my gosh it's like five stars 485 reviews I'm not surprised, not surprised. So let's go, you guys. We about to go in it. And it definitely comes with a lot of, you know, I'm just gonna talk to you like a consumer would. Like, it has a lot of mattes. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mattes, and I think the rest are shimmery colors. So to me, as a consumer, you guys, the only thing that matters to me, I'm trying to get out my eyeshadow primer. Sorry, you guys. Um, the only thing that matters to me as a consumer is does it work or does it not work? That's all I care about. I don't really care about product um, size and is, am I getting my money's worth. Like, I really don't care about that because, I don't know, I, for me, I just like to really invest my time in, like, other things. Like, I'm more about does the product work or does it not. So I'm going to go in with my Select Cover Up by MAC. This is my first time using this and everyone raves about it. So I was like, okay, girl, you need to try it. Everyone talks about it being like the best eyeshadow primer. I want to use as many colors as I want, as I can from the palette to test everything out. Usually I would start out with burnt orange, but just for, you know, demonstration purposes, I'm going to go in with orange soda and I'm going to use a Morphe 505 and I'm just going to dab onto it. And if you can see, there really is not... It's a little bit of fallout, but nothing close to what it was previously. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put orange soda all into the crease. And I'm going to show you guys blending techniques, how it goes under blending. So far, orange soda is going in really well I'm using a light pressure and right away orange soda most likely a color like that would not show so much on me but it's showing a lot right here and oh my gosh it's blending so good no problems with blending with orange soda go ahead and comment down below if you guys want me to do multiple looks with this eyeshadow and like put them all into like one tutorial so like three looks with one palette, four looks with one palette. I can even do five looks with one palette. Y'all just need to let your girl know what you want to see. Building up the color has not been a problem. It's basically going on really smoothly. It's really pretty actually. The blend is really nice. I always have a hard time blending 
right in this area. I think it's just a dry, patchy area in my eye. And stuff always gets stuck there, but nope. Not having that issue right now. So these two colors. And I'm gonna use a R39. I'm gonna use Burnt Orange and Sienna together. And I'm going to focus it. Oh wow, pigment. I'm gonna focus that right here on the outer corners. Oh wow. And you guys know I like to go back in. I like to do a sandwich method. I like to go back in and roll, rub this area out with um, orange soda. So just the previous color. Because being a tan girl, being able to build the color up just so it can show on my skin is so important. I love that blending two colors did not mess up this eye look. Because in the previous ones, I was not able to blend two colors and get anything done. I'm gonna wait for as it goes forward because the previous palettes, after a while, they would just the color would just bunch up. So I'm noticing it a little bit right here, but not really. Could just be how I'm doing it. Like I'm noticing a little bit of too much grasping in one area. It's like one of my pet peeves. But I think it just has to do with how my lids are. So Mulberry is going to deepen the crease. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and take Mulberry. Okay, so this Mulberry color, it's life. Oh, it's doing that little separation thing again. It's doing it, but I mean, I'm. it's okay to do it, but can we get rid of it? That's the thing. Not as bad as the previous ones, so I'm gonna let it go. So now I went in and I put on this color bronze onto my lid, and it looks like really, it looks really, really pretty. But I don't like, like it is so soft. Like if you see, like it's like so soft, you guys. Like it's very, very soft. I don't like. I'm not a big fan of the texture of it. See, look, but it's like very glimmery, but it's it's kind of glittery. If you guys see that, it's a little glittery. So I wasn't a big fan of the shimmers. So I wasn't a big fan of these, so I'm, I guess the sultry is the same texture. So I wasn't a big fan of it. I mean, it went on pretty well, but you kind of have to press it into your eyes um and so far everything looks pretty good it's not fading usually um usually the other colors start to fade so i'm gonna be just i'm gonna keep it real anastasia shadows are not always my fave it's a hit or miss with me sometimes i love them sometimes i don't Right now, this is okay to me. I'm not like super amazed by it, but it looks really pretty. Like that bronze is a really pretty color and I think it blended really, really good. So this is the finish look. Um, I hope you guys like it. I didn't put on any lashes. I just did eyeliner. Can't find my lash glue, story of my life. I need to clean up my whole area here. I am a mess, let me just tell you guys that. Like, I have stuff everywhere. Need to clean up everything, can't find my lash glue, but I thought it would be perfect just to wear this with no lashes so you guys can see what it really looks like. So, my final verdict on the soft glove. So, you guys. guys, I love Anastasia as a brand. I love their eyebrows, I love their highlighters, I love everything that they make. Pretty much, okay? I have a huge collection of Anastasia lipsticks and everything that they make. They have been very innovative, 
but you guys this soft glam palette was just not for me um, I didn't find it worth my money I most likely will return this practice your return policies you guys I will most likely return this because it just wasn't something I'm for I feel like I have a lot of colors like this that are much more pigmented um, I think Morphe eyeshadows are a little bit more pigmented than this I don't know what it is I have never been a huge fan of Anastasia's um, eyeshadows they're just not something I love the only palette I have ever loved from them was the Tamanda palette that came out and then um, she's also had a couple of other really good ones like the Mario palette I like that one but I have just never really been super intrigued by how the palettes look on me the eyeshadows look on me I feel like they always fade on me and as you can see they're already fading on me they're just not my cup of tea they can be your cup of tea but it's just really not my cup of tea but you never know um so i'll try out this palette a little bit more and see how it goes i just don't think after how many layers of eyeshadow that i put on i feel like this should have been like flawless and like super vibrant but it's really not um, maybe it's just my skin tone maybe her undertones of her shadows just don't look good on me so you guys I am just going to have to say a pass on this I'm gonna give this maybe a three out of five because I just feel like it's never that pigmented on me and after a while like by the time I'm done doing my lipstick I just feel like my eyeshadows are not as like popping as I want them to be and also these colors right here bronze and sultry I just was not about that I wasn't feeling the bronze and sultry looks I will make more looks out of this palette of course to kind of test out the palette full on full but as a first impression not really impressed I'm sorry love you Narvina love you Anastasia no hate it's just you're just the eyeshadows are not for me everything else I love I think their foundations are great their lipsticks are great their brow products are amazing um their their matte lipsticks are amazing what else their highlighters their highlighters on fleek like I have the Amrezi highlighter right here I have that on this Amrezi highlighter was amazing I love their highlighters they just make some of the best highlighters in the game so that's what I love so Sorry guys, I, I don't know if you guys are hoping for a positive review, but <sighs> that didn't happen. I'm sorry. But anyways, I hope you guys still try it out. You know, you can always try out products and then practice your return policy. That always works too. Um, you can go in there and like swatch swatch eyeshadows, swatch them on your hands. I know it's not the same as putting it on your, on your eyes, but... You got the only way you're gonna learn what products are for you or are not for you is by testing things out. So don't take my word for it. Me personally, it's not it wasn't for me, but I mean you never know, right? So, anyways, um oh yeah, you guys are always gonna ask me, is it brown girl friendly? I don't think this is brown girl girl. I don't think this is brown girl friendly. I just didn't think it was pigmented enough for my taste. For me, I felt like I had to really go in there to get the shadows onto my um, eyes so I don't think it's brown girl friendly I think it almost looks a little too ashy on my skin tone but that's just me like I said test it out for your guys itself practice your return policies boo <laughs> I guess that's it for the review so you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below also comment down below if you want me to review any other products or if you have any questions about this palette did you like this palette did you not like this palette so did you like this palette did you not like this palette go ahead and comment down below also you guys know i'm on facebook snapchat instagram twitter those are all glam by runa go ahead and follow me those links are all down below i'll see you guys in my next video remember foundation friday is coming up this week so i'll see you guys on friday and i love you so much thank you Mwah. Bye!